G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be having a look at when you're shopping, working at a rough running total about how much money you're spending, okay? Um, this is uh, mainly in response to me going down the shops the other day and not actually having enough money in my account, okay? It sort of prompted me to think, okay, you know, occasionally I have walked through the supermarket and had to do a bit of a running tally about how much I've uh, been or how much I will be spending because otherwise what happens is I get to the checkout I have no idea and I get um, declined so I don't think anyone wants that so it's a bit embarrassing uh, let's have a look, quick look at how you know you, we can use estimation to work out how to uh, work out how much roughly we should be paying so say you go to the supermarket and I'm going to give a big long list of things here um, to say we have something $6.99 uh, what about seven dollars twenty um, forty three cents we'll have something which is another six ninety nine one don't you love the way they do six ninety nine or seven ninety nine I know we all know why they do that uh, okay what about a uh, dollar twenty three two dollars fifty one uh, six dollars twenty three dollars eighty a dollar twenty five, two dollars thirty five, um, uh, what about seventy six cents, and another one which is only sixty three cents, and something which is only fifteen cents. Ah, uh, let's add all these together. Now, if I was to do this straight away, you might go, ugh. I mean, because number one, you're not necessarily going to walk around with a calculator, even though you'll have your phone on you, and you could add like this but mentally the way that I'd be doing this is as follows I'd be just walking through and keeping a rough running tally using estimation now, estimation works like this we're going to be uh, rounding to the nearest most significant figures in this case we're going to be probably talking about dollars okay so anything we're going to be looking about these cents thing and then working out which is closest it's closest to okay so if it's anything above 50 cents and above is going to be rounded up to the next dollar above or anything below is going to be rounded down. So this one is closest to seven dollars. This one's closest to seven dollars, okay? This one's closest to zero dollars and so on and so forth. But when you're walking through a supermarket also, you actually are not just writing things down. So you're going to be rounding things and adding them to a running total. So we're going to start off with seven dollars. And then we're going to be adding another $7. So we're going to be having a running total of $14. This is closer to zero, so we're going to keep this as $14. This is now closer to seven, so we're going to up to $21. $21, this one here is closer to a dollar. $22, this one's closer to $3, so $25. This one's closer to $6, $31. This one's closer to $4. $35, this one's closer to $1, $36, this one's closer to $2, $38, this one's closer to $1, so $39, this one's again closer to $1, so $40, and this one's closer to actually nothing, no closer to no dollars at all, so we're going to keep our, it is $40, we're going to add nothing to our total. Our estimation is a $40 bill there, okay? And that's the way that I would be uh, estimating with these. I'll tell you what I'd also be probably doing with it, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I might even keep a buffer zone of around about 10%, okay? Just to be sure. Okay, you don't want to get there and then still be a little bit short. 10% is really easy to work out because 10% is just the same as dividing by 10. So 10%, maybe I'd be keeping a an extra four dollars buffer divided by four added on an extra buffer of maybe ten percent forty four dollars okay pretty easy right um, what about I give you a bunch of examples with this and we'll do this one in dollars also and then we'll move to some different currencies because Different currencies present different problems and that sort of deal, but nothing huge, eh? So let's do another bunch of ones. So say this was $3.60. I'll tell you what, see if you can actually round these off and add them as we go. Okay, 360, 420, 
$0.51 cents, $0.15 cents, or above we go up to the next dollar if it's below we go down and we leave it as it is so we have four dollars eight dollars nine dollars okay nine dollars ten dollars thirteen dollars sixteen dollars eighteen dollars uh, we're gonna make that into a two so it's twenty dollars into a three, so twenty-three dollars, twenty-six dollars, twenty-seven dollars. Okay, this is going to be rounded to an eight, so this is going to become thirty-five dollars. This is going to become a nine because it's it's uh, so this is going to be forty-four dollars. This is a two, so it's forty-six dollars. Okay, uh, now with this, you might just say, look. Divided by ten, this is uh, so. This is roughly forty-six dollars. Divided by ten, uh, it's four dollars sixty. Call that five dollars. So maybe we roughly want about fifty dollars. Okay, fifty, fifty-one dollars. Again, it's an estimation, so it's a roundabout. Okay. So how'd you go with that? All right. All right. Um, what about I try? I'm going to do one in a different currency. One of my favourite currencies around. Um, when I travel and there's a reason I really like shopping in this particular country I'm going to say which is India um, because what they do on the in India is they actually write the prices of things on the back uh, on the actual goods that you're buying a lot of the time um, what I mean by this is it doesn't matter which store you go into <laughs> that item is has the actual price written on it it's really really cool so say we're talking rupee um, and we had things that were costing 67 rupee uh, 95 rupee, 120 rupee, 175 rupee. We might do something which is uh, 380 rupee, um, 409 rupee, 199 rupee, uh, 75 rupee, 15 rupee 27 rupee uh, 380 rupee and 455 <laughs> rupee okay so the way that we might be adding these together see how you go see how you go if you're you probably maybe you're in India and you're going okay I can do this or maybe you're traveling overseas and you're in you're, See how you go. Alright, so this is going to be, I'm going to be making these roughly to the tens. Okay, so let's do that. Actually, let's go just to the hundreds, okay? We've got a lot of hundreds once here. Let's make them to hundreds. So this is 100, 200, uh, 300, 400, 300. This one's closer to, so 500. This one's going to be now it's 400, so 900, 1300, 1500, uh, 1600, 1600, 1600, 2000, 2500, 2500 rupee. Alright, how'd you go with that? Okay, I was going to add it to the tens for a second there, but no, obviously hundreds is a much more significant figure on that one, and a much more, uh, you know, 
where we're going to be we're looking at. So yeah, 2,500 is our buffer zone, and we'll add a 10% buffer zone. So maybe we're looking at we want to probably want to have 2,750 on us just to be sure when we're getting it added up. So don't be surprised if it heads up that high, or maybe it heads up below. It's only 2,250. All right, all right. Uh, one last example. So say we were adding up. Last of all, um, and this is an example here. So say this is this is what happened to me the other day. I was shopping uh, and I was actually buying some furniture and things, and it was fairly you know it's fairly expensive to buy furniture in Australia. Um, so basically, the prices they were giving me were things like three hundred and ninety nine dollars. $1,699, I was buying a bunch of things, I haven't bought furniture in so long, so everything's sort of fallen apart, the kids have wrecked it, uh, $1,399, and I was also looking at a bunch of chairs which were $69 each, and there were six of them. So, first off, when I was trying to work these out, what I'd be doing is follows, obviously I'm going to be looking with this probably at the nearest thousands, but I think the easiest one to work out um, right, let's just go as we go. This is roughly 400. To that, we're going to be adding 1700, so we're going to have 21, 2100. Okay, I'm just going to begin doing a running tally. This is 14, so we're going to be looking at 3500. And then to this, this is roughly 70, 7 sixes of 42, so roughly 400. I'm going to be adding that on 3900, roughly. Okay, and that's roughly what our price is there. Uh, and actually, what the sales lady then said straight away, as they do at every furniture store in Australia, probably throughout the world, is they said, "But, but today we can offer you twenty percent off." Okay, well, how would I work that out? I'm just adding a little bit of uh, stuff in there because this is what happened. Well, first off, ten percent is going to be this divided by ten, so I'm just going to get rid of the zeros. Twenty percent is going to be twice as much, so twenty percent is going to be seven hundred. 80, or roughly, let's stick in the roughly zone, of 800. So we're going to be looking at 800 coming off. We're looking at roughly $3,100. Okay. So that's a way that you can go along and you can do this mental maths in your head and be, you know, working stuff out as you go along. So it's through this rounding. Anyway, hopefully that was of some help to you. Uh, we'll see you next time.